Dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. I am Tanvir Hussain. I am career coach and I worked in Bangladesh University of Professionals as career counselor and as an assistant professor. So today I am going to discuss learning method. If you can remember in previous video, I talked about learning approaches. Learning 4.0, I described learning 4.0. Today I am going to discuss what is what learning method and there is a specific technique called VARC. This is a model. This model was invented in 1987 by Mr. Neil, uh, Neil Fleming. He was a teacher, researcher and a learner. So in 1987 he invented VARC. This is basically an acronym which means visual method or auditory method or read and write method or kinesthetic method. These all are separate method. There are four methods which can be applied in a classroom setting. A teacher can apply one of the methods or a combination of the methods in order to impart better lecture to the students. In order to make them understand any uh, subject matter, they can choose any of the four method or they can combine. Now I am going to discuss one by one what stands for visual. Visual method is a normal me uh, uh, visual method is a modern method. In visual method we show diagrams, charts, pictures. Even we can show movies, YouTube videos, any sorts of documentary. These all falls under the category of visual method. A teacher can choose visual method if he finds his students are receptive, more receptive towards this method. Only then he can choose to use visual method exclusively. Okay, another method is called the auditory method. Normally this is the traditional method. Auditory method means making discussions, listening to the recordings or giving lectures. Normally this is the traditional method in a classroom setting teacher normally in a Bangladesh gives lectures and students hear that lecture and they take note. This is called auditory or oral method. So this is a very much traditional method and sometimes it becomes boring. Only lecture sometimes becomes boring if the teacher is not knowledgeable or if the teacher cannot deliver the lecture in a very fluent fashion to the students. So students may feel a bit uh, unmindful, they become unmindful. So there are benefits of auditory methods and there are disadvantages of auditory method. Next method is called read and write. This, in this method we can show lists, we can show books. Students can read from books, passages, and teachers gives assignment to the students. So this with the combination, this is called read and write method. This is a very effective method. Reading and writing is compulsory in the schools so that teacher can understand the student has a good pronunciation or have any problem regarding reading and writing. So this is very effective method. Fourth, if you see verb. At the end of work, there is a K. This K stands for kinesthetic. Kinesthetic means when a teacher uses real life example, trial and error, or hands-on approaches. Once the teacher let the students do things practical. After lecture, once the teacher allows the students use practical tools, experiments in the lab. So this is called kinesthetic method. Now, what is the method a teacher should use, that's a very big question, within a work model, which one should be preferable? Actually, it depends on the students. If I have a class of 50 students, then I need to understand as a teacher that my students can receive more on which method? Is it visual clue? Is it auditory? Is it reading and writing? Or is it kinesthetic? Or is it a combination of multiple methods? A teacher has to understand his students and he has to determine that which are the methods or method he will be using in a class setting. 
these methods can be applied in indoor class or outdoor class depending on the students the method can vary but these methods will be applied by the teacher and students will receive information i am going to finish this lecture by adding some more information on uh, learning method that is there are other methods also other than for there are more learning methods like singaporean model then there is called kaplan method in europe the kaplan method is applicable singaporean method is applicable in singapore and there are countries in european countries those who follow the singaporean method those method actually uses this technique they uses the combination of these techniques and this is the most advanced technique in the field of teaching and learning so i shall request all the teachers if any teacher is listening to this lecture or this content they should google the vark model and they should go through different research paper on vark and they can think on changing their learn uh, teaching method basically these all are very good method for the students teachers can use single method or they can combine two or three method ultimately modern teaching system uses vark model in europe and america teachers are trained on this model and they design their teaching materials under vark method so i hope today's video was helpful if you like this video you can give comment and thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel thank you very much this is the end of this video assalam alaikum